when they come to her, they are broken. Whenever I first started doing this, I would be nervous. Every single time I had to start cutting a piece of fabric. Mending takes tools. There's one arm. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Good, how are you? And a conversation. She's like having coffee with a friend. We can start with whichever one you want. Okay. So, uh, Tony Reese starts. I'll show you all the combinations. Most and sessions they're, like they're this. They're gonna love these, and mm -hmm. they're gonna be so. Excited. They were all very close to her. Everybody always offers me a story. Always a story, and it ends with a comfort baby Ava will know much later. For some reason, this particular one just blew me away. My first one took me about eight hours. Her next one is for Lacey. We have the puppy dog nose. On the left foot, I went grandma. Grandma, okay. I like to line up all my pieces. So here's the little body. It's starting to look like a teddy bear. A stuffed bear. Okay. Built from the bottom up. Now to put the head on. Carrie doesn't want one. She wants 14. I am with you. Mm -hmm. Can you put that on? Absolutely. Okay. Special Absolutely. orders. These are personal bears. Oh, he was, he was ready for that granddaughter. Very personal. He was ready. Jonathan is talking about his dad, Ava's grandfather. Two months before Ava was born, Robert Mix never saw her. He went to sleep in his chair and that was it. And that's why these stories matter. We were really close. Lacey is here for her grandmother. It was just hard to hear the end because she didn't know who I was, she didn't know who my son was. She was diagnosed with cancer. Carrie is here for her mom and brother. She was supposed to be here for graduation. That was her inspiration. On Wednesday night, she started to not feel well. The next morning, um, she died. Oh my goodness. Oh. This was very, very sudden, very, very yeah. unexpected. Oh. And you miss this person that's gone. You miss them. So I think she's helping people to deal with that. Go get some rest. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. There's no room for error. You can't mess up. Yeah, there's pressure. Tony started making clothes for her daughter. Bears started as a random request. Look how cute his little head is. She makes them for all occasions, but death is the hardest. Thank you. It means it really means a lot to me to have this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be talking to you soon. Thank Surely, you. if life can hang by a thread, it can also be honored <sighs> by a thread. I'm a little nervous right now about seeing it. Lacey's grandmother died in December from Alzheimer's. Every time we saw her, it was like seeing him for the first time. This bear is for the two-year-old sleeping in the back seat, Connor. If a son could see his father one more time, the emotion a simple bear can evoke. You can see the wear on it. More than 30 years of wear. You can see how strong of a man he was. They were a pair of jeans that are manufactured with no belt loops. That's how old they go back. Those jeans now live in a new form. It reminds me of my dad. Every day. Guys, Connor. Hi, Connor. The fabric here comes with experience. A shirt, a blanket, maybe the last thing a loved one wore or the only thing a family has. It's almost like um, a little piece of them. Come on in. It's right here. Connor wants a little piece. Mom, too. <laughs> Let me pick that out for Grandma. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you got this for Grandma? There is an instant connection. Remember how soft it was? Oh. The shirt he chose. Is that your bear? And his great-grandmother once wore. Soft. Oh. He may be too young to fully know, but... There you go. In time. You enjoy that teddy bear, okay? They come here somewhat broken. But when they leave, <laughs> they see it. They see in the bear the memories. It's the common thread. Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News.